Boys, it's been a while. It's been six months to be exact, but I got something just for y'all. I got a new drift car. All right, so let me give y'all a quick rundown of this car, why I bought it, the reasons behind it, everything like that. So first of all, I wanted a drift car, obviously. I wanted to get something that I could take to the track, have some fun with, and I also didn't really want to have two cars, so I kind of wanted to have the best of both worlds when it came to that. And there's not a lot of options out there when it comes to having a dailyable drift car. It's either you gotta put up with it sucking on track and you can drive it on the street or you, it sucks at driving on the street and you can have a lot of fun on the track. The C6 Corvette, I think, is the best option when it comes to the best of both worlds, honestly. You have the powertrain in the car already that all the pros are using. You got the LS2, makes a ton of horsepower, easily modifiable. They're not that expensive. The C6s are definitely coming down in price. So you don't really have to worry about that anymore. Uh, and they're a ton of fun, dude. They are a ton of fun. I've had this car for about two weeks now. Um, already done some mods to it. There's already plenty of mods on the car already. Uh, let's go take a look and see what we have so far in the car. So, so far, I'll let you know about how I bought this car from the dealership. Uh, it was a little small dealership. I just happened to find this one. It was in great condition, asking a good price. And there has been a couple mods to this so far. So if we look down here, it will have long tube headers. I'm not sure which headers are coming on this car. We're gonna have to take a look at that. But it does have long tubes. They're either Cooks or te Texas Speed. Then we have a cold air intake. We got a huge oil catch can sitting right up there in the front. Towards the back, we have some more exhaust work. I'll show you that. Down here, we have the oval quad tip. Um, What's the name of this brand? Let me see if I can see. Okay, figured it out. Oh. So in the back, we do have the, the it's the Billy Boat exhaust. Um, it's a pretty nice exhaust. It was over a thousand bucks. I'll shoot a link down in the description below for that too. And lastly, after the exhaust, we do have one extra thing that makes this thing sound even ooh, that much better. And that's a cam, baby. Now, in case you're wondering, I'm sure you saw a little bit of fire. I did install a little extra something something in the car. Let's show you what I've done. First, pretty basic mod. Uh, I do have a video of this that I'm gonna be putting out, so stay tuned. It's probably gonna be like a couple days after this video. But I did put the black wrap on the roof, which I think oh, looks incredible. It really wasn't too hard. Um, I didn't get the most expensive wrap either. I got the Vivid stuff. The wrap was actually super, super good. Uh, it was super easy to get the air bubbles out of. I mean, heated well, cooled off well. Uh, super impressed with it. So I'll put that in the, in the description as well. But that was one of the first things I did was wrap it. I think it just gives it, you know, like that supercar-esque look. Um, Cause the Corvettes, they're, they're good looking cars, but to make them look even better, I think, I think the black roof really set it off. Next, we did put a new infotainment center in, a new head unit, which, oh my God, this car desperately needed. So it's a little smudgy right now, but we did put um, a nice Android head unit in here. Um, so it's wireless CarPlay, uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, whatever it is. You can watch your YouTube, you can do all your stuff. And then there's even an option for, um, you can wireless OBD2 port. 
and then you can actually monitor all of your gauges and things like that when you're on the track, which is gonna be super, super key. I'm even gonna go ahead and get the TPMS sensors that are Bluetooth and hook up to the car. So when I am drifting, I will be able to see what my tire temperatures are. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's like almost real race car stuff, but in a daily driver, which is, which is nuts. And lastly, because this is a drift car and we like to have some fun, since I put in the head unit, you know your boy had to put a subwoofer in the back. So it's not the fanciest, it's not the nicest, but it bumps. Temporary placement for now. We'll see how long it lasts. It doesn't really look the best just sitting in there like that. Also, it's very dirty, so disregard that. But uh, yeah, we got a sub. So when it comes to the flames on the exhaust, I did have a little have a little inspiration when it came to that. Uh, I put a kit on there and I'm sure you guys know what it is. It's the, it's the Hot Licks exhaust kit. So basically you intercept your coil packs, you route some spark plugs to the back of your exhaust and it cuts ignition at the engine, then routes that fuel straight to the back of the exhaust, lights it with the touch of a button. Here is where I have my button placement. Um, you can see it right in front of the shifter, which is pretty clean. This thing also does have a, a short throw shifter. I forgot to mention that. But the button sits right here. Whenever you want to shoot some flames, you just press that button. Is it like the safest thing for the car? Probably not. Uh, but is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to get this car to have a fun little track car, you know? That I could just take anywhere and drive anywhere. And that's, that's definitely what this thing is going to be. I'm not going to take it too seriously, but... Definitely not going to destroy it because although C6s aren't that expensive anymore, it still wasn't a cheap car. So uh, we're going to take good care of it, that's for sure. And we're going to have fun with it. That's definitely for sure. So future plans with this car when it comes to the actual drift build um, and having this thing all set up and ready to go to hit the track, there's really not much you need. So one is an angle kit. You can pick those up from FDF makes a, a pretty cheap kit for like 400 bucks adds a uh, wheel angle to like 60 to 65 degrees and you basically don't have to do anything. You just bolt on um, this bracket onto your knuckle and it allows your tie rods just to extend that much further. So you really don't have to do much. Um, other than that, it's just an e-brake. There's also super, super good kits. FDF also makes a really good e-brake kit um, that mounts right onto the trans tunnel. You don't have to do any welding. Uh, you don't have to do any drilling, things like that. It bolts straight on. If you do have a C6 and you want to get a nice bracket, look up the FDF one because it's it's super, super clean. You get to keep your cup holders. You don't have to put your e-brake right in the cup holder. Um, it's a little bit closer to the steering wheel, which I think I'd like a lot more. Um, so yeah, angle kit, e-brake. It's already got a cam, already got a nice exhaust, already looks really good. That's pretty much it, and this thing's gonna be a ripper. So guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you feel like I got the right car for the job, or if I should've got a 350, should've got something different, should've got two cars, I don't know. Uh, I think this was the best option for me, but I'm curious to see what y'all think. So definitely, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming out for this car. Obviously, it's a whole new build, so there's gonna be a bunch of work going into it. I already have the wrap video that's about to be going up. Um, I'm gonna have some daily driving videos and stuff like that. And then a lot more installs when it comes to this car because boy, it is it is not gonna be stock for long. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all's love and support when it comes to this. It, it still blows my mind that people watch my videos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so thank you guys. If, if you wanna watch more drifting content, that's coming up. Um, the installs are gonna come first when it comes to putting all that in the car, but after it's in, it's gonna be some gonna be some fun drifting content for you boys. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.